I'm Dan Theodoro. I am the ultrasound section chief at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. Um, and I have to uh, thank Jason Nomura for being a no-show, so I got a chance <laughs> to present this. Bear with me. Okay. Does everybody hear me okay? All right. Well, I'm going to uh, present the position that ultrasound is not an extension of the physical exam. Uh, I get research funds that are non-ultrasound related from a company called Garfield. Totally unrelated to this presentation. But I think one of the problems when we start talking about this is that we put all the emphasis on ultrasound and we stop talking about, well, what is the physical exam? The physical exam is your capacity of, your, of the uh, skills that you've been endowed with to make observations about other people. Okay, it is the sight. I can see people here in the audience. It's the smell. It's the sense. I can sense some of you are really anxious right now. <laughs> um, but it's, those, it's that first oral boards question that you ask or that you're taught to ask. What do I see? What do I smell? What does the patient look like? That is what's, it's the physical part of interacting with another human being. The physical exam is a physical entity. It's seeing something. Oh my god, look at that gash. I can see it with my eyes. I sense that perhaps it's down to the bone. Let me go up there and palpate it. What is that thing around your belly button? Have you been wearing a new belt buckle? Are those ulcers that I see all over your tongue? Those are all visual things. These are things that you see. It's the, what do I see when I walk in the room? What do I smell? Is it my elderly lady who has fallen and now is sitting there with an externally rotated hip who smells like Chanel number no. five? So you know she's high functioning and she's going to need an orthopedic consult. To get <laughs> is it the guy who just drank that glass right there of whiskey and you can smell it from a mile away? Is it that fruity smell that someone presents to you in DKA with? That's what the physical exam is. And none of those involve any kind of technology. It's just what we've all been endowed with. Palpation. In this case, does this little child have a mass somewhere? Or what does this earlobe feel like? What's inside that? Is it fluctuant? Is it hot? Or is it solid? Is it a tumor? Or does that allow me to put a needle in that thing and drain it? And yes, listening. This is a picture from uh, Dr. Nomura. This is the old way of examining people, where you actually went up and the physician stuck their ear right up against the heart and listened. Because that's what we've been endowed with, the capacity to hear things. I think there's a lot of happy people in that picture. And when it comes to ultrasound and stethoscopes, we usually make the parallel because of Lenach's invention back in the 1800s. <clears throat> but I'm here to tell you that that is just all garbage. Because what he really created was a tube that enhanced our own physical capabilities. This is a picture of them auscultating someone with one of Lenach's earliest technological marvels. Come on, people. He's holding a straw up to someone's back. That's all that is. But somehow we've integrated the fact that we could hear better if we did this with ultrasound. That is a complete flaw in the argument. And yes, I hear people all the time quote John Forbes, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> One of the greatest discoveries in medicine by all those of a temper, blah, 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 blah. Only special people can use it, blah, 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 blah. That is all marketing. <laughs> you have, that was marketing back then. And you saw the pictures, the new guy, the young cool doc, holding his iPhone with this thing around his neck that's an ultrasound probe. That is designed to trick you into spending $3,000 to something which you've all associated with medicine, this stethoscope in your pocket. Okay, you've all been duped, tricked. Me too, I like it, it's cool. But it's not the same thing. 
That is marketing. You have been marketed to, and they have won if you believe or if you go around talking that the stethoscope of the future is an ultrasound machine. Physical exam and the things that enhanced it were part of a marketing, were part, are associated with a physical exam, the capacity to enhance your natural skills. If really that's what it was about, then this would be a technological marvel. Because back then, you had to inspect, see someone's skin, someone's abscess, you don't have an abscess, but someone's <laughs> razor burn, and I'm getting older, I can't see you very well, but if I put these on, dang, Fields, that was a very close shave. <laughs> but no one's walking around with, with uh, glasses saying, oh my gosh, that was the greatest technological marvel ever, and that now this is a... Uh, special diagnostic test or extension of the physical exam. No one says that stuff, okay? We've been marketed to and we've bought hook, line, and sinker. Remember, physical exam is just what you have within you, what you've been born with. Yes, we've trained it up, we can sense things, but there's an inherent difference between what you have, what you've been endowed with, and ha being given a piece of technology that you're able to diagnose with. Okay, this is Bates' physical exam. It was the sort of Bible, there's a few others. <clears throat> if you look into it, ultrasound does not show up. <laughs> okay? But look at the words that do show. Things like, uh, let's see, you're in color because you can see someone's pee color. Okay? You know when someone's been on rifampin, when they're dehydrated. Uh, what else is here? There's palpation in there. Um, you know, these are things that we can all do because we've been born to do them. We've been allowed to do them. But there's no, technology, there's no technology in between us and doing these things. Here's a diagnostic ultrasound text. Physical exam is not listed. Okay, you've got things like piezoelectricity and phytobezoars. I've never seen one of those. But, but that's what's in there because it's a new body of, of, of knowledge. It's a new sense of, it's a, it's a new breakthrough. It requires something more than just your endowed natural senses to make the argument. So what about the people that say, no, ultrasound just enhances what you see. And seeing is part of the physical exam. That's true. Seeing is also part of looking at a chest x-ray, and no one doubts that a chest x-ray is a diagnostic exam, right? I mean, no one says, no, that's a physical exam today because you're looking at it. No, they say it because that requires special knowledge to interpret it, to know what's going on. That gives you additional knowledge. You hear, you can learn about the patient's heart size. Well, you can kind of do that with PMI, kind of. You can't see the patient's hiatal hernia. That's, ex that's up on this chest x-ray. This is one of my favorites, because if I go in and I do a physical exam on someone who's not talking well and can't move their right side of their body, I'm pretty sure that they've had a stroke, right? You do a CT, you can't see anything. So is that not a, a, a diagnostic test because you can't see it? You do the MRI, you can see it. Is this really not a diagnostic test because it's just confirming what I saw in physical exam? No way, these are both diagnostic tests. Yes, they allow you to have deeper knowledge into what you've been able to already assess by doing your physical exam. Ultrasound is no different. I'll give you the example. This was a recently diagnosed pregnancy. <clears throat> the patient came in. By palpation, the uterus was its appropriate height, but the patient kept having pain. And it wasn't until we saw the additional pregnancy that's going to come out right up here. This is a heterotopic advanced pregnancy. The old, you can't do this by physical exam alone. You had to have done this with the diagnostic test, and that diagnostic test was ultrasound. Ultrasound and the knowledge that you've had to do it is what allows you to make that diagnosis. Props to Sean Stickles, it was his case. Okay, now for all you policy wonks, because I always get hit by the policy wonks. <laughs> well, you know, CMS and the data and the billing and blah, 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 blah. You know what the CMS people say? They come in there and they talk about data review, they talk about complexity and diagnostic testing order, and, and then they talk about, oh yeah, you got to review it. And then when it comes to diagnostic procedures order, they list ultrasound. 
hook, line, and sinker, we can't go back to, we can't let the policy people tell us whether or not this is a test or not. But you know what? It's great when they agree with us. And they agree that it's a diagnostic test. Okay. This is the concept of the assist. Some people will say, like, well, you know, for, for uh, certain tests, you need, like, a tech there and someone to help you uh, set something up. So that kind of makes it a diagnostic test. Whereas ultrasound, you just get to wheel it in the room, and you guys are just, like, using it willy-nilly and blah, 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 blah. Well, this is the radiology tech um, assisting with the chest x-ray. This is an EKG um, placement guide. Sometimes my tech places the leads on the test, and I interpret it, and everyone says, yes, you performed a diagnostic EKG. Sometimes the tech's really busy, and I go put the leads on the patient. Now, when I'm reading that same EKG, is that just an extension of my physical exam? No. Just because your workflow involves another person does not mean that you are not performing a diagnostic test. Workflow does not design the test, does not define the test. How about... Expertise. I was a classics major. Plato talked a lot about the essence of things. I was terrible at classical philosophy, by the way. But can expertise define the essence of something? In other words, is ultrasound an extension of the physical exam in our hands, but a diagnostic test in the hands of imaging specialists? Is that what's going on here? Well, some of you may know I'm an avid hockey player. This is me playing hockey here. That's my young stud son playing hockey. And this is Vladimir Tarasenko. He's the star of the St. Louis Blues for you non-hockey buffs. Now, would you say that the three of us are all playing hockey? I think you would say yes. Now, one is an expert. He's way better than I am. <laughs> so is that one. <laughs> but you can't say that we're not all playing hockey. You can just say that one person is more expert at it. And from that, there is a derived value. He's selling out stadiums. No one's coming to watch me play hockey except the person who took the photo. <laughs> but value and the essence of something are two different things. And value is what we've all been establishing over the last 15 years since I've been coming to SAEM. If you look at ultrasound uh, talks, research presentations, the, the knowledge is deep. The gap is shortening. And we're demonstrating that we have value. So just because you may not know how to do an ultrasound very well, the way that some experts do, um, don't believe that it's not a diagnostic test in your hands. You just have to get better at it. It's still a diagnostic test that you have to learn to apply a little better. All right, we are at SAEM, but many of us are ASEP members and members of the uh, emergency ultrasound section. Um, this is all about payment and how ASEP uh, believes that we should all be paid for doing our tests at the bedside. Um, I think the uh, better part, the better quote, is the definition of clinical ultrasonography. Because ASAP really set up this talk. And they said that clinical ultrasonography is a diagnostic modality that provides significant clinical data not obtainable by inspection, that's physical exam, palpation, that's physical exam, auscultation, that's physical exam, or other components of your physical exam. It's a distinct clinical modality, not an adjunct or extension of the physical exam. You may be devaluing yourself because you may feel like you're not really good at the diagnostic test, so you want to hide it in your h &P. Don't do that. Get better at ultrasound. Get better at your diagnostic test. That's what we should be striving for. Ultrasound is not part of the physical examination. Thank you.